cheat code 5.5.4c. What are we doing? We're gra we're starting to graph. Ah! So graphing is a huge part of the star test this year for fifth graders. And this teak generate a numerical pattern. So you're going to look at at x's and y's. You're going to find patterns. Okay, in the form of y equals ax or y equals x plus a, and you're going to have to graph, and that's, that just sounds like a lot of like, what? We're going to break it down. So your x-coordinate and your y-coordinate. The horizontal value of the pair of coordinates, that's the x, and then the vertical value is the y. So check this out, it's color-coordinated, 12, 5. This is your x and y, and anytime you have two numbers, and the, the, the comma and the parentheses, that, those are coordinates. Those two numbers combine to make one, one point. Okay, this is 12, 5. Now notice, the x-coordinate goes along the x-axis, y-coordinate goes along the y-axis. So, 5, 10, 11, 12, right? So you can go all the way to 12, and then up to 5. Notice it's positive 12, positive 5. So that's what we're going to be talking about, and that's how you graph a coordinate. Okay, same point. The x value is 12, the y value is 5. Now, this is it. It's just one more time broken down. You always have to look at the 12 or the x value first. x equals first, y equals second. You go across the x-axis first and then you go up. You don't go up and then over, right? Because this is this is like 12. This is 512. 512 is right there. But we're looking at 12, 5. It's two different points. So x first. X always comes first. What comes first in the alphabet? X does. Okay. So for this video, we're only going to do two problems, because they're going to be kind of in-depth. And then the next video, we're going to do two more problems. So two problems is it. The ordered pairs for the points on the coordinate plane satisfy the equation y equals x plus 3. Whoa. Here is the pattern that we're trying to talk about. y equals x plus 3. Which of these tables shows the other points that satisfy the equation y equals x plus 3? Look at this. We're going to break these points down. That is the point 0, 3. Right? Because we're on the x value. We do x first, 0, right here. And then we go up 1, 2, 3. Okay? This is going to be 1, 4. 1, 4. Because we're going to go over 1, x first. 1 is our value of the x. Okay? And so do you see this point? It goes across is the 1 and then it crosses the 4. So that point is 1, 4. Then we have 2, 5, 2, 5, and then 3, 6. Do you guys see the pattern here? The pattern is y, so we're, we don't know what y equals, okay? y equals x plus 3. So if we continue this line, and let's say we have x equals 6, and then we come all the way up, now watch this. Y equals X is 6. A X plus 3. So Y equals 6 plus 3. Y equals 9. That is how we solve these patterns. X is, here's our X value, and it's plus 3 is the formula. So 9. Oh, look at this. It crosses. That point right there is 6, 9. Whoa. Okay, and if we're looking at these tables, watch this. X is 4, plus 3 is 7. X is 7, plus 3 is 10. So those numbers are wrong. That would be 13 and this 16. So A is wrong. Wrong. 12, okay, is it x plus 3? 12 plus 3 is 15. So 9 is wrong. 15 plus 3, 
is 18. 12, so this is wrong because that's subtracting 3. 12 minus 3 is 9. 15 minus 3 is 12. 18 minus 3 is 15. Wrong. The formula is x plus 3. x plus 3 is 12. Plus 3 is 15. Plus 3. Yes, that's our answer. C. And check this out. Let's, let's, uh, let's look at it. 9, if we continue this line up here. Look at 9, 12. We, let's go all the way. 9, go up, 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 up. You have 10, 11, and then 12. It's going to be right here. That's 9, 12. This, this is our answer. C is our answer. Okay, last question for this video. Then we will cut it, start a new video. Which table could represent the equation? Whoa, what does that mean? Y equals 0.1x. So anytime you have a number right next to a letter, you multiply. So you have to multiply it by one tenth. Crazy, okay. So we know about multiplying, so let's do x. Okay, x is five, we're gonna multiply times 0.1. That is five. Oh, and now there's one decimal in the question? In the problem, so it'd be 0.5. No, y doesn't equal 50, it equals 0.5. So f is not it. Oh, here it is. 10 times 0.1 is 0, and then 1 times 1 is, oh, oh, look, one decimal place right here. So it might be g. Let's do 15 times 0.1. It would be 5, 1 times 1 is 5. Okay, plus one decimal point is 1.5. That's it. 20 times 0.1. Now, notice I'm doing all this scratch work to defend. Sometimes these charts, they'll give you the first three is correct, and then the fourth one will be wrong. You have to defend the chart, your answer, with a lot of scratch work. 20 times 0.1. 0, 1 times 2 is 2. There's one decimal place in the problem, so that's it. This is our answer, G. 5 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.5. Okay, that's wrong. And, oh, look. See, look. 5 times 0 0.1 is... That one is... This is correct so far. 10 times 0 0.1. We already did it. It's 1.0. That's wrong. So our answer is G. Okay. Uh, please do scratch work. Defend your work. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm happy to help. Thank you.